Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Isaiah. This is my friend Tyler. We're going to make this a really short intro because it's going to be a long video. We're going to be doing part one of our predictions. This is the AFC edition. We'll do NFC next video. Yeah. Pretty, pretty straightforward. All right, so we're still going to start with the AFC West, where we both agree We where we both agree the Raiders will come in last in this division. I have them going 5-12. and 12. You have them going 6-11. and 11. I think we can agree that the Raiders won't be good this season. No, I mean, honestly, I feel like Derek Carr did help this team a lot. So losing him, and I do think, honestly, Jimmy G, going from um, Carr to Grapple is a downgrade. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, I mean, sure, I mean, they're losing guys like Darren Waller. You know, I don't expect Josh Jacobs to have as good as a year as he did last year. Um, so honestly, I don't, yeah, I agree with you. I don't think the Raiders are going to do that good this year. It also seems like Devontae Adams and Josh Jacobs don't really want to be there, honestly. Josh Jacobs didn't want to play on the franchise tag, but he's kind of getting forced to. Devontae Adams is, like, frustrated with the team. He didn't, he subtly said he didn't like the Jimmy G signing, so, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, up next, we actually both have the Broncos going 7-10 and 10 and finishing third in this division. There's a lot of concern with the Broncos. There are some good, like, Sean Payton is a great coach. Maybe he can fix Russ, but it's still Russell Wilson we're talking about here, who was who had an awful season last year. Yeah, and even just, like, watching um, last night's preseason game, yeah. um, he didn't look that good in the preseason game. and Against the bad Cardinals defense. Yeah, so, I mean, even though I, I said that, like, as my hot take that they could be a sneaky, you know, wild card team. And I still am staying to that. It's really going to be all up to how Sean Payne's going to manage this um, offense is really going to be the real concern there. But yeah. Yeah. The offensive line concerns me a lot. They looked really bad against the Cardinals who have a really bad pass rush. Yeah. So yeah. Up next, we both have the Chargers finishing third, but we have two completely different outlooks on them. I have them going nine and eight and missing the playoffs, and you have them going eleven and six and making the playoffs. I like the Chargers. Okay, they have. I like Justin Herbert. I think he's like borderline top five quarterback in the league. But I do have my concerns. The defense was really bad last season, especially against the run, and the receiving core. Keenan Allen can only get worse, and he's aging. Mike Williams is one dimensional, and I'm not a big Quinn and Johnson person, honestly. And Austin Eckler, he's a great fantasy back, but he's not the best pure runner in the league. So, like against the Jags, they couldn't drain clock because they weren't able to run the ball effectively. I just see them losing games because they can't hold leads. Yeah, one thing to mention though, also, um, how we're getting these like schedule, um, or how we're getting these like scores, we literally just went week by week and chose like based based off of a matchups. So like even at the end, even though you're seeing like a record and you may be like, eh, I don't know if they're gonna be, you know, finishing that high. That's kind of um where I'm at with this. Like I don't think the Chargers are gonna do this good, but just like going off of you know each weekly matchup, them winning certain games. So. Um, but, you know, I'll stick with where I'm at. And I, I do think the Chargers will be good this year, and I could see them definitely making the playoffs. Um, I, I like Justin Herbert. He's young. He's still developing. And if he has a good year, I mean, it definitely is possible. Mm -hmm. High, currently the highest-paid quarterback in the league. wonder how long that's going to last for, though. Not long. Not long. Joe Burrow's going to get that contract soon. All right, and then if anyone disagrees, I don't. I would like to hear the reason that the Chiefs are going to win this division. They've been running it for the past five years since Mahomes has come to the league. He's lost only three games against them, never has lost to the Broncos, and they're coming off a Super Bowl win, so I see no reason why they can't win it again. I've been going 14-3. Yeah, for, and three. for sure. Um, I, I don't – Chiefs are winning this division. You know, it's – I don't see any situation otherwise, unless, like, Mahomes gets hurt, knock on wood, but, you know, there's – Chiefs are winning this division. Okay, so we okay, so we both in the AFC East. We're gonna move on. We both have the Patriots finishing last. You have them going six and eleven. I have them going seven and ten. It's just it, I don't know. Wait, no, you have the Jets last. My bad. You have them going six and eleven. I'm really interested to hear this. Actually, I don't think I think the Jets are way overhyped, but six and eleven seems a bit low. Yeah, I mean, it's the Jets. It, they're not that good of a team. They haven't been historically that good of a team. And sure, they got a better quarterback. Better quarterback is not going to, like, you know, 
win them championship. They're not. It's not going to help them win. You know, four plus, five plus extra games. And I do like Rodgers, but I mean, you got to admit he's getting older in age. And, you know, I, I do love Garrett Wilson. Definitely couldn't have a great year this year. But it's just I can't trust that defense. And, you know, it's just Aaron Rodgers getting up there. Okay. I'll explain my reasoning. This is the first disagreement we have in terms of divisional standing. I have the Pats finishing last because I just think you look at them. They have the worst quarterback in this division. They have the worst receiving core in this division. They don't have an offense. Besides Ramondre Stevenson, who is really good, They their offense is bad. And they should have a good defense, but I don't think they'll be able to keep up with the Josh Allen Bills, the Tyree Kill Dolphins, the Aaron Rodgers Jets. I think they're going to have a rough time playing in this division. So that's yeah. that's what I have to say. Okay, and you have the Patriots going 7-10, and 10, and I have the Jets going 10-7, and 7, which will not be enough to make the playoffs. They're going to miss it at 10-7. and 7. But, yeah, I like the, the Jets, but I don't think that – I think there will be problems. Like, the O-line's bad. Aaron Rodgers, definitely. Aaron Rodgers in a new system. It's gonna take an adjustment period, but I think once they get once they get it going, they'll be da- they'll be the Lions. They'll be dangerous at the end of the year, but struggle at the start of the year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I uh, but my thought process with the Patriots having them where they're at um, is honestly all up to the the quarterback position right now. It's I can't trust Mac Jones. You know, last year he didn't he didn't show me anything that made me be like, oh, this could be a franchise quarterback or this is a guy that they're going to need long term that's going to win them. You know, you know, nine, eight, even ten games. Like it's I, I can't trust Mac Jones, and I do like a lot of pieces that they have on that team. Um, but and Bill Belichick is still there, of course. But I just can't trust Mac Jones. That's all what it comes down to, honestly. Yeah. I'm not the biggest Mac Jones fan. I think he looked worse from his rookie season to his second year. It was it was weird. He um he struggled. He was like impatient. He was forcing things. Had bad footwork. Yeah. Okay, so we have differences on who's winning this division. I have the Dolphins winning it. You have the Bills winning it. You have the Dolphins missing the playoffs at eleven and six, which would be crazy if that happened. At eleven and sixteen, missing the playoffs. Oh, but yeah, I have the Bills going ten and seven, but still making it, and I have the Dolphins going twelve and five, and you have the Bills going thirteen and four. So I'll you I'll explain my reasoning. I think the Bills have become too complacent recently. I think that's their problem. They've been trying to run it back to the same roster, and we saw last season divisions figuring it out. The Jets and the Dolphins both took a game off them. The Dolphins kept it close in the playoffs by having a third string quarterback starting. I feel like teams are figuring I feel like this division's figuring out where their weaknesses are. They have a bad offensive line. The receiving core is weak but outside of digs and Gabe Davis for two weeks. That's and the defense can never stay healthy, so that's why I have them going second. And in terms of the Dolphins, I think they just only got better. There's no reason why they shouldn't be better. Even though they're missing Jalen for most of the year, he'll be back for a deep a deep playoff push. They still have Tyreek and Waddle, and if Tua could just stay healthy, this is a legit team right here. Yeah, I mean, honestly, where I'm at right now with the Dolphins, I like the Dolphins, and I do think missing the playoffs at 11 and 6 would be pretty crazy. We'll get to that later in the video, but yeah. um, as I, but so yeah, so I, I just can't really trust. Um, I mean, 11 and 6 is. It's a good like. That's a record. good record. No, I'm not mad at you for going 11 to six. That's a really good record. Don't say I hate the Dolphins. They're like I'm not a believer in them. I do think the Dolphins are going to be really good. I love their receiving core, and you know I love their roster. Honestly, they have some studs on defense, but it's just you know we know Jalen Ramsey is going to be out. Their big new addition is going to be out missing some time, and we have you know uncertainty with Tua. So that's kind of why I can't really push them above 11 and six. Okay. Now, with the Bills, the Bills here, I honestly, I really like the Bills this year. Josh or Josh Allen, great quarterback. You know, Stephon Diggs, their connection, honestly, is going to be amazing. And honestly, I love some new additions. Their draft, they got a new tight end. Um, who should I expect to be decent this year? And they still got Dawson Knox. And also, they got a new running back. So, they should be, they should, they should have a good year this year. That's fair. All right. Up next, we have the AFC North. Now, this division's probably your most controversial one. Do you have... All right, so you have... So let's get this out of the way. That You have a three-way tie for first place with the Ravens winning it, but you have the Bengals, Ravens, and Browns all going 12-5. and five. 
In contrast, I have the Bengals winning it at 12 and 5, Ravens 11 and 6, and Browns 10 and 7, still making the playoffs. So. This would be crazy if that happened. Three team, three way tie for 12 and 6, um, or 12 and 5. But um, yeah, honestly, my thought process is, is I expect all three of these teams to be great this year. I mean, I. I Bengals, I don't even know why I should like even have to explain. You know, they got Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, Joe Mixon. Like their roster is stacked. Mm -hmm. And sure, they did lose pieces, but I mean, it's still the Bengals. You know, they they've been really good. And last year they made a deep playoff run. I expect them to work off of it. T Higgins is in for a comeback year. Um, and honestly, the same with the Browns. Um, Browns definitely they were a little bit they were a little bit of a question mark, and I still have some you know questions about this year as to how they do. But Sean also, Watson is my biggest question. That's sure, what's yeah. stopping me from really pushing this Browns AFC North winner. I'm in the middle. I don't know how I feel about Deshaun Watson. He looked bad last season, but I refuse to believe he's that bad. Like I think he'll bounce but back. The thing is, is uh, we saw Deshaun Watson, you know, come in more than halfway through the year and with a team that he's never played before, you know, after coming back in the NFL after missing, you know, what, one, two seasons. Yeah. So you, you got to break, you know, he's not going to come back in MVP level form like that. He's going to, it's going to take him some time, you know, now he has a full camp to work off of. Deshaun Watson, I expect will come back and will most definitely play better than last year. But also besides Deshaun Watson, you know, we have, we added some great pieces, you know, Dalvin Tomlinson. You guys have the best off season of any team, I feel like. Darius Smith is going to be an absolute unit for us, you know, and yeah, I just, sure we like I just don't Jadavion, see Jadavion Clowney was not good with us last year, though, so. I just don't see a world where the Browns have another horrible run defense like you guys did last season. I think the improvements to that, you're, the linebacking core scares me a bit on your guys' team. You guys don't really have a real cornerback, too, but yeah, Nick Chubb is there, Amari Cooper and Elijah Moore is like a top 10 receiver duo. Yeah. And, yeah. and the then also, you can start the, the Ravens um, with the Ravens in this three way tie. Uh, you know, I, I expect um, Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson's going to play out of his mind this year, like he always been. Um, and, you know, last year he missed some time. That's what led to the Ravens not really doing that good. But also, you know, they got a young running back in J.K. Dobbins. Love him. Mm -hmm. uh, and, I mean, the receiving core, definitely iffy still, but, you know, I mean, they did add OBJ to it, so hopefully. Save flowers, but yeah. It, it's a receiving yeah. core that really doesn't have good injury history, which also scares me. My biggest thing with the Ravens is this is a bit of a hot take. I think they do have a top five defense in the league. After they added Roquan, their defense was like top five, top three in every major defensive stat. So I think that carries over with a full season of Roquan Smith at in the interior linebacker. Marlon Humphrey, I think, will have a bit of a bounce back year. It was a bit of a struggle year for him. And Kyle Hamilton should take a second year leap. He was good last season, and I think with another another season, he'll just be better. It's the offense that concerns me. Lamar Jackson hasn't stayed healthy. Odell hasn't stayed healthy. Rashad Bateman hasn't stayed healthy. If this offense can stay healthy, though, yeah, they could probably they could go they can make a deep playoff run. But I'll need to see it. All right, go with the next team. Well, that's the Steelers that we both have going seven and ten. I, yeah, I mean. You can go. I just think that they're just the odd team out in this division. They have a great defense. We know that. But other than that, I mean, I look at the Steelers and I just see um, they have the worst quarterback in that division. They have, like, the worst run game. They have a horrible O-line. The receiving core, although good, is still, like, maybe the third best in this division. Like, in any other division, they'd be competing, but I just don't see them competing for first in this division. No, it's a stack division, you know, we have. And also the Steelers, you know, Kenny Pickett, question marks there. Mm -hmm. I do like to why, you know, I expect George Pickens to have a step up, but I, I once again, just can't trust this team uh, in a very tough division, like you were mentioning. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Mike Tomlin has never had a losing season, but I look at the schedule. It's a really tough schedule. You play your division. You play your division, and then you have other really tough games. I can't think of them off the top of my head, but I know that. It's a bare minimum four losses. Yeah, like they'll they might they they always play the Ravens well, and they might take one game off the Browns or Bengals, but I don't know. It's a tough division. All right, on to the AFC South, the final division in the AFC, and I think we both know who should win this division. It's gonna be the Jaguars. 
they have the best quarterback in this division by a landslide. And I they just had a they had a really good year last year and I think it carries over. Yeah, the Jaguars, I do love them. Honestly, you know, last year in the playoffs, they they looked good. There's no reason that made me, you know, see them in the playoffs and like they're bad. You know, they look good and besides the first half of the Chargers game. But besides that, they've been solid. And I like the Jaguars. I like Trevor Lawrence, you know, how what he's doing to this offense. You know, I expect a jump from Travis Etienne this year, even though he had a solid year. You know, I, I expect this Jaguars team to, you know, really take a step up this year and show that they are the leaders of this division. I also like the Calvin Ridley edition that they had at midseason last season. That wasn't like a investment decision, but I think he's going to be great for them. Should do nothing but help that offense and help Trevor Lawrence take another leap because he he took a big leap last season. I think we're looking at like an MVP candidate type season on Trevor Lawrence again. I mean, not again, but he can definitely do it. And the defense, although might not be the most star-studded defense, as a unit, they played really well towards the end of last season. They obviously played really good against the Titans in that must-win game. They stepped it up in the second half against the Chargers. And for them playing the Chiefs, they didn't play that bad against Kansas City. They It just happened to be the Chiefs had the best offense in the league, and no one was beating them. It was just... Yeah. yeah. All right. And okay. then we disagree on second place in this division. I have the Titans going 9-8, and eight, and you have the Texans going 7-10. and 10. I just think I like Mike Bravel. The defense is really good for Tennessee. They still have Derrick Henry and they have D Hop. I just think a winning record record I could see them pulling out a winning record. They play in a weak division. So that's my argument. Yeah, I mean I like the you know, I really do like the Texans this year. I, I don't think that they have enough to make a playoff spot this year, but I do like that they're through they had a really good draft in my opinion. You know, CJ Stroud, he did look rough in his like few passes he had but i mean you can't judge based off of that um but yeah, yeah i expect that game. yeah you know, will anderson and cj stroud they're gonna they're gonna be decent this year yeah um i could see that i just think there will be some relative growing pain like cj stroud he hasn't played i mean his college football receiving core is better than the one he has right now he's throwing to marvin harrison chris olave garrett wilson um, Jackson Smith, like he was throwing to a crazy receiver for Ohio State. These are all first round pick caliber players. You go from that to throwing to Nico Collins, John Mechie, and Tank Dell. There will be a downgrade there. You combine that, you got a. I like D'Amico Ryans, but a first year head coach, there will be some things. He'll try new things and it might not work out. And of course, it's still a rookie quarterback. Yeah, I, I, have, I have them going 5 and 12 and coming in third in this division. Yeah. You have the Titans going 3-14. and 14. I actually am curious to see that. Like, Who is the fourth place? So You have the Colts going 1-16. Okay, we'll get to that. So, the Titans, I, I'm i not a big believer in them. I'm not a big believer in Ryan Tannehill, you know, what he's doing. Derrick Henry, I do love Derrick Henry, but I do expect some regression this, regression this year as he is getting older in age. Same with D-Hop. You know, it's an old team that they have, I feel like. It is old, um, yeah. So I'm not too crazy on some of these. You know, I'm not too crazy on that D-Hop edition. It kind of, like, puzzles me. Like, you guys aren't pushing for a playoff spot. I just don't see the point in it. But No, I, 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 see, don't... I see the point for the Titans' perspective. I don't know why D-Hop would ever go there. That's what doesn't make sense. I mean, yeah. you're, you're upgrading your receiving core. Yeah. But they're spending on a player if they're debatably in playoff contention. I think they should just kept A.J. Brown, honestly. I think that would have been yeah. a better long-term move. Yeah, and we both have okay. the Colts finishing last in this division. I have them going five and twelve. You have them going one and sixteen. I think we both know the biggest question of this team is Anthony Richardson actually a good quarterback? Because we're all mm-hmm. basing him off of he can be good. He's a bit, we know he's we know the athleticism's there. We know the arm strength is there. It's the accuracy though. Actually, as we're recording this, he is playing in a preseason game through an awful interception right to the defense. Yeah, I mean. I I don't like basing my you know stuff based off of preseason even though it is it's just they're trying new stuff you know it's I don't like even when I look at like preseason game scores I'm not like oh wow this sucks or you know this team's not going to be good this team's going to be fantastic um, but speaking of Anthony Richardson um you know I I do like him I think he will um I think he will be decent but this year it's just he's on a terrible team you know and. He's just, yeah, the Colts are not good. You know, they have battle line. 
Uh, Jonathan Taylor wants to be traded. He so wants it's out, like, yeah. So I, I can't trust this Colts team. Really can't. Yeah, I can't really trust a team that's got controversy before the season even started. Like, your best player wants to leave, or he, he either wants to leave or he wants to be paid, and you're not doing either of those for him. So he's obviously not happy where he is. And I don't think that'll give him... That's just going to make him not give his all, honestly. And then you have the receiving core, which is perfectly fine, but, like, Michael Pittman and Alec Pierce can only do so much. And then Richardson, there's going to be some struggles at the start of the year. He's going to make bad decisions. He's going to make bad reads. Every rookie quarterback does it. But I feel like Richardson especially, because he's he's a project quarterback. He's a Josh Allen type guy. Josh Allen wasn't good his rookie season. For sure. Yeah. So, yeah. We've gone through every team in the AFC. Next video will be NFC, and we'll do our playoff predictions. So, yeah. It's going to be all. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell. I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Uh